Hi and welcome back to Tips and Techniques with Tammy on the Scrap Spot. If you're anything like me, you probably have a lot of chipboard laying around your house. It's been the big thing for the last quite a while in the scrapbooking scene, and there are lots of cute pre-made embellishments like this that you can buy. They've got a glossy, um, a glossy sheen to them, they've got a cute saying on them, and they're usually pretty expensive. <laughs> Now, a lot of companies have started making what they're calling naked chipboard, which is just basically plain cardboard colored. It doesn't have any you know, texture or design to it at all. But if you're new to scrapbooking, you probably don't know what to do with it. So I thought what I would do today is show you how to make your own chipboard embellishments using a few supplies that you probably already have laying around. Just patterned paper, a rub-on, your chipboard, some adhesive, a little sandpaper, which if you don't have the scrapbooking sandpaper, you can just grab some out of your toolbox, and um, some glossy accents, some paper glaze. So let's go ahead and get started. To kind of give you an idea of what our finished project is going to look like, here is a chipboard phrase by Little Davis Designs. Just a couple of them to show you how easy it's going to be to create these yourself. What I've done is I've taken um, what they call a game board tag from Making Memories. It's basically just a pre-cut shape of plain chipboard. And um, I've found a rub-on that I want to use, it's what I want my tag to say, that fits onto that piece of chipboard. I've taken a piece of pattern paper, I want this to be backed with blue, and cut it the size of my chipboard. So you can use any rub-on, any pattern paper, whatever you've got on hand. And all I'm going to do is adhere the pattern paper to my cardstock. I always do that. And then I'm going to attach the rub-on. Sorry, the shadows on this are really bad, so I'm going to turn that off. Just stick it down on there. This is a basic gray rub-on from their um, Holy Cow rub-ons. I think it's the family that this rub-on is coming from. Make sure it's all the way on there. Okay. Now that I've got that on there, I'm going to take a piece of sandpaper. I'm just using the Heidi Swap scrapbook sandpaper, but again, you can just go out to the garage and get some out of the toolbox. It works it's the exact same stuff. <laughs> this just comes in a cuter package. <laughs> And I'm just going to sand along the edges to expose the white core of the um, pattern paper to kind of give it a rough edge. have the basic chipboard piece done and I'm just going to take some paper glaze, squeeze it out over the top. Do a pretty thick coat on this because you want it to have a really nice hard glossy finish like the ones that you buy. And just rub it all over the top. And you want to try and squeeze out all those bubbles that come out because otherwise they will show up on your finished project. I just scrape them off with the tip. <laughs> it's kind of a lazy way to do it, but it works. And this will take probably about, mm, because it's such a thick coat, maybe as long as two hours to dry. But once it dries, it'll be all clear and shiny, just like 
the purchase chipboard word. So this way you can make them, you know, if they don't sell them to fit the theme that you want for your page, you can make them and they turn out really cute and work just as well and look like they were store bought and they save you a lot of money and use up your stash. So I hope that's helped too. I hope that you'll have fun experimenting with that and making all kinds of different things. Thanks for watching.